Hi everybody, welcome to Methods Monday. I'm not going to critically appraise systematic reviews today, but I did want to address a big mistake that I see in so many reviews. People say they searched Medline and PubMed, and it's clear that they don't understand the difference. Is it possible to search both Medline and PubMed? Yes, it's possible, but PubMed contains Medline. So let's take a look at some of the different Medline platforms today and PubMed. I want to help you understand what you're searching. Here's PubMed from the National Library of Medicine. This is the website from the U.S. National Library of Medicine. It should be available to anyone with internet access. And if we go down here to learn, we can go to About PubMed. And it tells you a little bit about PubMed and then directly below about the content, it tells you what's in PubMed, Medline. So Medline is the largest component of PubMed and consists primarily of citations from journals selected for Medline and indexed with MeSH, medical subject headings. PubMed Central is the full text archive often used by people who have a public access mandate. And then the bookshelf, which has some additional content, books, reports, databases like Lact Med and some others. Now, there's additional content in PubMed to my understanding. There's some content that is open access but not deposited in PMC or Medline. And there are some preprints. So that's my understanding of what's in PubMed. But when you search PubMed, you are searching Medline. So let's just do a search and we'll just say cystic fibrosis in the title field. 32,000 results. Now, if you come down here to the filters, you can limit this to just Medline. So you're eliminating bookshelf, you're eliminating PMC and any other content. So that brought it down by a little bit. Okay, so Medline is the biggest component of PubMed, and when you're searching PubMed, you are including Medline records by default. Next is Medline on the EBSCO platform. This is a subscription database, and your university or institution would have purchased it from EBSCO. So it looks like this, or looks similar to this, depending on where you are. And it's the same content from Medline, but we're not seeing content from PMC from the bookshelf. So we'll say the same thing and just look at the difference here. Put this in the title. We'll say search. 32,016. Why there's a difference, I don't know. I can't figure all that out right now, but it's close enough. So this is Medline content on the EBSCO platform. Looks like that. Next is Ovid. So Medline is held on the Ovid platform as well. And again, it's something your university or institution would need to subscribe to. So you can ask your librarian, do we have Medline on Ovid? Do we have Medline on EBSCO? Or do we prefer to search PubMed? So we'll do the same thing here. We're going to say title. We're going to say cystic fibrosis and click search. And we got 32,089, 32,016 in EBSCO, 29,559. And so you can display the results here in Ovid like so. So it's a little bit more of a technical database. Like you have to have some skill to search Ovid Medline. Now the last thing that I see people get confused often enough that I think it warrants explaining, and I don't know why they've decided to name all their products similar names, I agree that it's very confusing, but Medline Plus is a separate entity, it doesn't contain records per se, it's not a bibliographic literature database, it's a consumer health information resource. So here you'll find health topics, patient education, information about drugs and supplements, and a medical encyclopedia. So this is not a database you would search for any type of literature review unless you're looking for some gray literature. So I hope that helps. We have PubMed, which contains Medline. We have Medline on the EBSCO platform. We have Medline on the Ovid platform. We have Medline Plus, which is none of these things, but instead a consumer health resource. 
please look into this before you search. Please talk to a librarian or ask for help. We don't expect you to know this on your own, but it is important. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.